Hello Clive, it's Wednesday and I'm in the big room. Once upon a time, there were three nerds. One was a techie, the second was a teacher, and the last one was a movie junkie. Clive, I officially hate you. <laughs> no idea how good that feels. And they each performed very hazardous duties. But I took them away from all that. And now, they work for me. My name is Clive. Okay, so, secrets. Um, I suppose the biggest secret I can really uh, share with you is something that, that you'll probably have been wondering about if you've had a look at my the name of my personal channel on YouTube. I mean, it'll be up here now, just for you to have a look at. And I know you're thinking, what is that? Grunlif zero one Grunlif. How do you pronounce that? Well, let me tell you a little story. Set the Wayback Machine to five years ago. I just discovered this really quite interesting little curiosity called YouTube, and uh, you had to um, enter your name and email address in order to have an account on there to view videos and have a channel. And I was, at the time, 17 and probably a little bit heavier than is healthy into conspiracy theory websites. So, convinced that GCHQ were watching my every move and that at any moment there was going to be black helicopters over the top that were going to be uh, dropping SAS people through those uh, VLUX windows. I was a little bit dubious about handing out any details of mine online. So, what I did when I was setting up this account on this strange website that I didn't know from Adam was um, I fed them a false email address and I typed in my, my channel name as something that had absolutely no relevance to me whatsoever, which was a text version of the place where I was working, Green Life. And incidentally, that's how I like my channel's name to be pronounced, Green Life 01. I was, when I came to my senses finally, able to change the email address to my actual email address, so now all of the mail does go to the right place. However, I have not been able to change the channel name. If there's a way of doing this, please, guys, let me know. Um, but for me, it's just uh, sticks with me like a... Like a misspelt tattoo from an ill-gotten youth. <laughs> okay, some other uh, secrets. I suppose. I suppose one thing. It's kind of common knowledge, being with what I'm doing here, that I'm a bit of a nerd. But I'm not sure even you guys really uh, comprehend how deeply that goes. I mean, I know some embarrassingly obscure sci-fi trivia. For example, two of the actors who have played uh, the Doctor in Doctor Who have at some point in their life trained to be monks. There was one other thing I was going to share with you. I wanted to talk to you about Amorentia. Amorentia, for those of you who haven't read Harry Potter, why is a love potion which smells different to every individual person depending on what they associate with love. And I have to say, for me, Amarantia would probably smell like Aussie hairspray. And there is perhaps only one other person in the whole of the world who will understand why. But... Uh, Aussie has it, it's kind of like perfumed raspberries. Yeah. So, 
I'd like to know what uh, Amarantia would smell like for you. That's you, the people watching this, in the comments. And Clive, mission accomplished.